Hika hika hika! Hi everybody! I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to set up the Steam VR to have no headset. So let's say you know you want to do V tubing with 11 Vive trackers, and the 11th Vive tracker is supposed to be a Vive tracker on the head. You're using like a Rokuko head rig or some DIY head rig for your iPhone to be on your head but you want the Vive Tracker on the back or even on the top. Um, so instead of having a VR headset, it's the Vive. This is pretty much how you will be able to do that. So in the description, you can check out this GitHub if you prefer the written version. It's very straightforward, but if by any chance you happen to get lost doing this, I'll show you the steps visually. So what you're going to do first and foremost is you're going to open up your file explorer and then you'll go and find your local disk which could be you know it, it depends where it's at um for me it looks like this should be for most pcs and then you're gonna go over to program files x86 because steam is a 32-bit program so go over here then you're gonna scroll down until you find the folder name steam then you're going to find Steam apps right here. And then you're going to go into common. And then you're going to choose Steam VR. And then there are two files that we will need to adjust. So let's start off with the null driver. So go over to the drivers folder right here and then find the null file right here. Then you're going to go over to resources, then settings. And then over here, you'll have your settings. Now for me, in case you're wondering what the frick are these two settings here, these are my backup settings because uh, before you do any editing to the files, please make a backup of your original settings. I have one for VR chat because doing all these edits is going to prevent you from using your headset for VR chat. You don't want that. Uh, but if you're VTubing, again, for VTubers, if, you're, if you have no VR chat, then you don't need a backup. But if you're doing VTubing and VR chat, you have to back this up. So um, simply you could select the default here, do control C and then control V, and then just rename it to how I have it here, like VR chat, that's your original file. And then for VTubing, uh, you can make a, a, de you know, a separate one. So here's how uh, my settings look like for this one. So for, uh, this is pretty much again, uh, for the Steam VR stuff here for no headset. This is how the settings look like. Pretty much you'll make it where the enabled is true. That's pretty much it. Um, everything else is, you don't have to touch those settings. It's just making sure that for VTubing, for no headset, you want this enable to be true. So keep that in mind. And then after uh, you do that, again, make sure to keep in mind that when you're using for VR chat to swap the settings out, you could do, um, so what I do to swap it out is that I copy from the VR chat one here, let's say, so do control C, control V, and then I pretty much delete my default VR settings, delete that, right click, and then I would name this to default, so pretty much overriding the settings if I want it for VR chat. If it's for VTubing, I simply do the same thing, uh, copy and paste for the VTubing, delete the default, and just rename it to the word default. So whatever is named default, that's what SteamVR is reading. The next thing besides the null driver, we need to go back um, to SteamVR here, and we need to go to resources. And then, uh, whoops, and then we're gonna go over to settings right here on that and then over here you'll be able to see you know your files you should pretty much just see these two i'll go ahead and yoink this one so pretty much same rule is again you'll duplicate for vr chat and then you'll make a duplicate for vtuber for my case here's how the one for non steam v, you know non headset this is for my vtubing setup right here it looks like this so the settings that you need to keep in mind about of is that for required head mount right here this needs to be false for vr chat it has to be true obviously um so for vtubing require head mount has to be false force driver needs to be null like this um so it should look like 
you know, these three settings right here need to look like this on the screen. So copy that. And then you'll need to make sure that all the way over here for the um, multiple drivers, where are you? Right here, um, activate multiple drivers. This can also, FYI, this can probably help you out if you experience any base station issue where your base stations are not connecting to your PC. It helped me out actually. So uh, make sure that this is set to true so that way your sub can work. And yeah, besides that, uh, you can again double check the GitHub for anything else, but that's pretty much it in terms of the editing the settings. Now, a heads up, by the way, if Steam VR were to update, because it does update to this day, at least to my knowledge, um, when Steam VR updates, the file will be replaced. There's actually this warning literally right up here. So if by any chance, let's say it works one day, but then out of nowhere, it stopped working. Like you open up Steam VR, your Vive trackers are no longer connecting, and you're doing it for VTubing, and you're wondering why is my Vive trackers not working anymore? That's probably because Steam VR had an update, and you need to update this file again. So keep that in mind. That's the reason why I recommend having backups. That's why I have my VR chat backup and my VTubing backup. So again, when I talk to VR chat that for VTubing that um, if it's for again if Steam VR updates, then I just quickly override the default settings. Unless there's any drastic changes that may occur here, uh, just make sure you back up, override, and remember these settings, and you should be good to go. And that's pretty much it in terms of the Steam VR configuration for the uh, having no headset. And when you open up a uh, Steam VR, so if I were to grab Steam VR right here, I'll show you how it should look like so you know it works. When Steam VR pops up, which um, Steam VR, there you go, it should look something like this, where there is an H symbol right here. That's a null headset. So it should look like this in order to detect that, oh, uh, there is no headset going on. So that's pretty much it. Now, you may get a complaint from Steam VR where it asks you for the room setup. Uh, if it does complain about that and you have a VR headset, uh, you could try and do the room setup. You could do the full scale and just put a random height and it should trigger it just fine. You don't need to do any crazy calibration or at least you shouldn't. But if you have a VR headset, just you could do it with a VR headset, maybe. Because uh, I had some clients needing to do it in order for it to work. Uh, for me, I didn't had to. If you have any other question regarding the uh, this type of setup, I could tr I'll try my best to answer it in the comments below. Uh, but do note that when it comes to Steam VR stuff, it can get a bit finicky. So kind of be prepared to do a lot of trial and error, especially with Vibes and Base Station. Because again, they are pretty like. They're comp they can be complicated, but they're also really simple to set up at the same time, which can sometimes lead into overthinking very easily on what the issue could be when the solution can be very simple. So just a heads up, because they don't really have much settings to work with uh, in terms of troubleshooting. So try not to overthink when troubleshooting. So yeah. Um, but other than that, though, I hope that you have a lovely day and please take care of yourselves. Bye, everyone. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!